Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and this edition for Thursday the 18th of uh, April, the day before four days off for Easter, comes to you from London. So we start by just looking at uh, the dollar index. The dollar shot up uh, quite a bit this morning, so we're back into bullish territory. Uh, so that's um, really the big move that we've seen, uh, a big move in the dollar index. And so we're, we're um, in bullish territory all round. That means that euro dollar has taken a, a dive, um, and so we're seeing uh, the euro very much weaker against the dollar as we go into um, the Easter holiday. Interestingly, the dollar is falling away against the yen a little bit, so just really the risk premium um, is increasing a little bit. We see the uh, risk on trade of the yen uh, just coming back into the fore, and sterling uh, back nudging the 130 level, having um, dropped this morning against the dollar. Uh, uh, have, we have activated $1.26 for sterling, 127 on the verge of being activated, so that would give us two downside targets. So still looking pretty bearish medium medium term bullish but long and long short term bearish <coughs> sterling against the euro um is improving a little bit this morning but still bearish on the short term chart and against the swiss franc uh we see uh sterling's actually uh, held up relatively well uh against the aussie dollar sterling falling away there too um, looking at Bitcoin this morning, we're sitting at $5,260, so we're holding um, really the jump we saw a few weeks ago. We're in a consolidation pattern. The key thing will be, can we jump higher than that $5,500 level and get a continuation going? But it's looking quite uh, bullish. We've got upside targets of 14 24%. Um, 25% and a 2% upside target on the short term chart. If you're trading Bitcoin, use the one minute point and figure charts. Uh, the S&P 500 index was down slightly last night and the NASDAQ was also uh, lower and the uh, Dow Jones uh, index was also uh, up uh, overnight. But uh, the bucking the trend on the other indices and the Russell 2000 uh, was lower. Uh, so looking at the futures this morning, we see the S&P future is uh, down a third, uh, 0.3% and the NASDAQ E-mini uh, is also down. So it does suggest markets will go into Easter a little bit lower. Uh, taking a look at the FTSE this morning, we're down a third of a percent, just holding on to the bullish trend still. And mid caps <coughs> also um, pushing lower. The DAX down just over a third of a percent. And the CAC Courant um, also um, is just holding on to its gains, but down half a percent. <coughs> Japan was down 0.87% overnight, and the Hang Seng was down 0.7%, and the uh, the Chinese market was down 0.4%. So we're just seeing across the board uh, a little bit of a sell-off. India was down 0.28%, so um, not as bad. And the Aussie market bucked the trend up very, very slightly, up 0.05%. Sentiment also weighing a little bit on commodities. We're seeing oil down uh, half a dollar, 71.27 this morning, um, still holding bullish just, and WTI um, also down this morning, um, by a similar amount, of course, 63.50 is where we're sitting at the moment. U.S. net gas uh, falling further at $2.51. Um, and it's really quite interesting how low can uh, net gas go. We have got some medium term targets to, to 2.14 uh, and 2.25. That big move um, down and then recovery and the move lower is starting to give us some quite serious downside targets. Further 10, 14% lower. Looking at gold this morning, we're up slightly, not enough to take the chart bullish so on the short term chart and silver actually looking a bit better than gold, just holding on to short term bullish. US 10 year yield sitting at 2.59%, not much change there. Uh, taking a look at the individual stocks, uh, we look at the Dow first, the Dow Jones index. Intel was the best performer last night. Uh, this data coming to you from Yahoo Finance, 3.26%. Uh, Goldman Sachs um, uh, up 3% yesterday, so recovering the loss from the day before. And JP Morgan Chase up 2.88%, uh, looking better there too. Um, looking on the downside, Merck uh, hit uh, further 4.6%. Pharmaceutical stocks been hit really quite heavily. Uh, we've got IBM, they were down 4% as well. And Pfizer um, was also lower at 2.5%. Uh, so um, that that's uh, certainly had an impact there. Um, 
interestingly, Pfizer um, uh, just starting to test new multi-month lows, so that's looking a bit worrying. On support on the point and figure chart, the relative, we're 19% un underperformance so far this year. Um, so that's quite massive. Uh, looking at the Dow Jones, uh, sorry, the NASDAQ 100, uh, Qualcomm again were the best performer, so they've had a, a really good week um, for their CSX, were up uh, 4%, uh, and that chart looking stellar as it breaks breaks to new highs with good upside targets, the relative breaking out as well. On the downside, we had Alexan Pharmaceuticals, they were down 8%, Vertex Pharmaceuticals down 7%, and Biomarin Pharmaceuticals down, and it's it's, a, it's like a bit of a broken record here, Regeneration Pharmaceuticals um, and Intuitive Surgical. So we're seeing um, that whole sector really um, being hit quite badly. Uh, taking a look at the Aussie market overnight, we said it was just a little bit better. Whitehaven Coal, they were up 6%. Um, not enough really to change the medium term picture, but the uh, longer term picture is better. And on the downside, uh, we had Galaxy Resources down 11%, so they were hit quite hard. That chart looking still very worrying. Underperforming the market so far by 35% this year. China was mixed. <coughs> Uh, we had only a handful of stocks up. Uh, uh, China shipping were up 4%. On the downside, uh, it's interesting to see that these downside um, levels were mostly less than 2%. And so um, in the scheme of what China's been doing lately, it's it's held up pretty well. The Nifty 50 in India, um, we, had, we were down we only had, um, probably about 10 stocks up. Uh, Reliance Industries were up 3%. Tata Motors continued their move for the week. They've had a good week. You can see that weekly candle there. Here are the live prices coming in um, from Yahoo Finance. And then on the downside, uh, India Bulls Housing, they, they were weak. Um, taking a look at uh, Europe quickly, um, the best performer was Unilever um, this morning, up 2.5%. Uh, and if we look at the worst performer, Johnson Matthey, down 1.8%. On the FTSE 250, um, here we see uh, it's Money Supermarket is the best performer, up 7%. They're breaking to new highs this morning. That's significant. Good upside targets. Three of them on the uh, long-term chart, all quite a lot higher. Uh, Hastings Group down nine, 4% uh, this morning. So they're also um, struggling a little bit. Europe, um, we take a look here. The best performer, Schneider Electric, up 2.5%. The worst performer is Caring Group, down 4% in, um, in Paris. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, until Monday, Tuesday, I should say. Happy charting. See you then.